My cold season friends, this is mostly a warm season video about weed control, but I got something special for you at the very end. Make sure you stay tuned and check it out. What's up y'all, quick video today that's gonna teach you a little something that maybe you didn't know and it has to do with this here Roundup. So right now in the comments below, tell me when you hear the term Roundup, what's the first thing that you think about? Of course, you think about glyphosate and glyphosate is a non-selective herbicide that basically kills everything it touches and that's what you use Roundup for. In the old days, you use it to spray the cracks and the crevices in your driveway or if you needed to kill your lawn to start over, you used Roundup. So in today's video, I'm actually gonna show you some things that you didn't know and the first thing is that Roundup actually is a brand that's put on all kinds of different formulations. It's not just what you think of, which is glyphosate and glyphosate is an active ingredient that's in original Roundup formulation that is a non-selective herbicide. It means it kills everything it touches. So I went to the big box store to take a look at some of the different formulations and here's what I found. This one right here, they're calling super concentrate. This has what you would expect, just glyphosate only and it's at a 50% concentration, which is really quite high. This will kill pretty much anything. But there's also this roundup here, a little different coloring and they're calling this the concentrate plus. It's got glyphosate. However, this time we're only at 18%, but it's also got some Diquat in there, which is another non-selective herbicide. And then we've also got this one here that's like this yellow, gold, and green called the Poison Ivy Killer. This has 18% glyphosate, but it also has Triclopyr, which is a broadleaf weed control that must do really well against Poison Ivy. And then next we have this one here. This one looks pretty serious, the Roundup 365 Max Control. We've got 18% glyphosate, got some amazepic, and there's diquat again. You can see all these are very similar, yet all quite different. So what happens is people see that word Roundup on there and they think they can't use it. But this is different. This is actually Roundup for lawns. And there's a really cool thing about it that relates to the content that we've been creating here on the Lawn Care Nut channel this year so far. So this is image for Southern lawns. And I did a video on this a few weeks ago. I showed you how to mix it, how to spray it. And the thing we talked about in here were the active ingredients. This is a concentrate, by the way, that's mixed in water. And we talked about the active ingredients, which are panoxaflan, sulfentrazone, 2,4-D, and dicamba. Excellent weed control for all warm season turf. What's interesting about this is it's the exact same feature set or the exact same list of active ingredients that are in this Roundup for lawns. But this requires no mixing on your part. This is called an RTU, like I mentioned, ready to use. You just put the top on it, charge it up, Go spray the weeds and you're good to go. Let me show you. So you can see this is a super easy way to spray weeds. Uh, it is a lot more expensive. I'll put the price of this one gallon up on the screen there. But again, you don't have to mix this. You don't have to touch it because a lot of you, you don't want to mess with, you know, mixing chemicals and stuff. So that's why this makes a great alternative. This is also good to keep in your garage for if you don't really have a huge weed problem, but you have a small weed problem, you just need to spot spray here and there a couple, two, three times a year. This is great for you. And again, this is not for blanket spraying. This is for spot spraying, but it's a great way for those of you that are brand new, that you're a little apprehensive about, you know, messing with chemicals and gloving up and all that. Use this, keeps everything contained. It's all mixed for you. And it's exactly the same thing that you get here and uh, it works. So we'll give you some results here so you can see before and after on the weeds that I sprayed here today. If you have any questions, leave those in the comments below. And as always, I'll see you in the lawn. Cool season folks, check this out. Yeah, I'm in a cool season zone, Northwest Indiana over by there. You guys also have Roundup for lawns. Now, something interesting, I went and looked at the other Roundup formulations, the non-selective herbicide formulations. They're exactly the same as the ones in the South, but this is not. This Roundup for lawns, this is a concentrate, has a completely different, I don't have my glasses, hold on. This one actually has MCPA, yeah, you know me, quinclorac, dicamba, and sulfentrazone. So I'm actually gonna be doing some content on this coming up. If you're not on my email newsletter, click the link below to join up. You get free lawn tips right in your box every single week. But also I'm gonna be doing some content specifically on the active ingredients here and how they compare to some of the other store-bought weed controls that I've recommended in the past. So there you go, cool season lawn friends. If you find that Roundup for lawns, you can use this as spot spray. We're actually gonna do some stuff here right now 
on some violet. We're going to do it on some himbit, and I make a lot of content on that. So we got some really cool, cool season content coming up over the next couple two tree two weeks. Next couple two tree weeks. With that, I'm Alan Hayne, the Lawn Care Nut. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the lawn.